Hello, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to start part two of The Curse of oh, no. Monkey Island. Elaine? She's not going to be happy about this. All right, so if you remember, we gave her the ring and it cursed her, turned her into the golden statue. So, first off, we're at the beach. What we got to do is collect the glowing ember lying on the floor there. Now go and collect it. Glowing ember. Right, we got that. Now, you can have a little explore if you like. Click on a few things and do see what's what. Um, as this is just a guide showing you what to do. We won't bother with that. So, at the beach, we're going to keep going left. So we go left. And then we'll end up at the map. So, now we want to go to the swamp area. Where this shipwreck is. So we click on that. And now we'll be greeted by an old friend. <laughs> Boo! Boo. Ah. <laughs> Oh, it's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. Darkness will envelop you. Ooh. Right, you don't need to talk to him. You can if you like, but I'd love to you don't need can, to. But, uh, I gotta go. I will just carry on going now. We'll go into the shipwreck here. And we'll be uh, going to see the voodoo priestess, or the voodoo lady, whoever she is. Once you're in here, you want to pull the tongue on the alligator, or the crocodile, whatever it is. Alligator. Click, pull his tongue, and she shall appear. Okay, so here we go. Just, uh, just have a chat with her. Who are you, and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. Okay. I am a voodoo priestess. <sighs> Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. Okay, give her a compliment. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Uh, no. Just say no. Or you can say what you like, really. Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter... And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. Well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? <laughs> Alright, select anything you like here. Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry, before you're too late. Oh no, we are too late. Ah, she's been taken by the pirates. Elaine! <laughs> oh dear. I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. Okay, so now we'll go back to like the voodoo priestess. Someone stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No. LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. 
Okay, so ask where you're going to find the ring. So where am I going to find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Let's lick that one. Where am I going to find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Okay, ask her if there's anywhere else you can get a ring from. So, here we go. Click this one. Uh-huh. So, uh, any huge uncursed rings on any other islands? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. <laughs> Do not mock the voodoo priestess. Okay, so uh, how do we get there? How do that? I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map a ship of Island, and a crew. The journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Okay, so we don't have to do anything yet. Blood we just stop talking to it. Thanks for your help. I've got to go. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. Okay. So what we want to do now is go to the gumball machine. Uh, no okay. So I'm go to your inventory and get out your wooden nickels. Use it on the machine and get some gum. Wow! I got a whole pack of gum. Woohoo! Now you want to take the. I'll just get rid of the nickels in a minute. Now take the pin out the voodoo doll. What a relief. <laughs> okay, and now we'll exit back to the map. Okay, go on, we'll go to the map. We want to head towards the city. Or the town or whatever it is. So, if you go to the top of the town. Okay, we want to go in the door on the side of the clock tower here. Okay, now we're in here. I'm gonna take this magic wand. Watch me make this disappear. And we're gonna use the magic wand on the magic hat. I don't want to disturb the mystic powers of the hat. So select the magic wand from your inventory and use it on the hat. And a book shall appear. My sleeve. Hey, it worked. There's something inside. Okay, so we go to the book. The A, B, C well, of Intrilogy. So we take the book. Oh, right, now we want to go and take the, off the glove from here. Take the glove. And we also want to take this dandruff. That's weird. I didn't think dandruff moved. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Headlights, actually. Oh, oh, take them. Now we leave. Exit here. What else do we need from here for now? And we head. We want to head now to the Barbary Coast. Or the hairdressers. Or the barber shop. Which is down the bottom here. Do, 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 do. There we go. In there, we want to go up. Look at there. There we go. 
Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. <laughs> Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second, did I just share too much? Okay, so we pick up this jawbreaker. And we want to talk to the gentleman at the back there, in the green. The Dapper Pirate. <laughs> so we go talk to him. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Of course you are. Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helgen. Not the... That's right, mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes Van Helgen. Dude! Alright, so... What we want to do... How'd you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on We've got to your... challenge him it's to a duel. A We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Right. Fine. You talk to him. Way. Okay. Whoa, look at the time. Got a scoot. So, go into your inventory, select the glove, and use it on the pirate. <laughs> now there's a challenge Ooh. to the field of honor. Okay. So you don't want to choose any of the guns. Well, you want to close close the middle one off, so you can select the banjo. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do. Okay. You have to match the strings he hits here. So. So it's two, string two, two, one, three, and five. So when it pauses, you hit them in the same order that he's just given you. So two, one. five okay it'll give you different each time it'll give you a different order so yours will, might be completely different to the order I'm playing them in at the moment okay number two three even number two then three two Five. And number three. You're pretty good, boy. Let's see you follow this. <laughs> He's good. I'll never beat him. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go to the guns. So we'll go over to the gun pile. And take a gun. A pistol. And you want to shoot the banjo. So you get the pistol and use it on the banjo. What? You shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. I'll need two more sailors for my crew. All right. So, you remember the headlights we got? When I put it on that comb that he's dropping on the table there. So go inventory, select your lice, and drop it on the comb. There. Holy infestation! 
civilization. You've been struck with the hair demons. What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin. The scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas. That's a lie. Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. <laughs> Good analogy. This calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. No, no, <laughs> you'll ruin my hair. Oops. Oh. Looks like me now, got a chrome dome. <laughs> okay, so now we want to get in the chair. Oh, oh, sorry, not no. the pirate, the chair. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. Okay, so we use the handle now and we'll kick the paperweight that he's using off there. So we use the, the lever. We'll kick the paperweight. There we go. Now we can't follow his instructions. <laughs> oh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But well, what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. Okay, while he's off looking for another paperweight, we can get the scissors at the top here. So we'll use the handle to pump the chair up so we can reach him. Keep pumping up. There we go. Now we should get the scissors. Whew. Well, I searched the whole island and I couldn't have found a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh. I was going to give you a French braid too. Oh, it's lovely French braid. Okay, so we'll leave the barbers now. Now we've got some scissors. We have to go and cut some flowers. So, you want to go left here, all the way to the left. Do, 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 do. So, I'll keep going, I'll keep going over. Don't want to go in the door yet. Don't want to go in the restaurant. So walk around the side. Keep going. And we see some flowers down there. So we want to go down here look, to the mysterious flowers. So what you want to do here, you want to use your scissors and cut the flowers. So go to the inventory or inventory. Select the scissors and use them on the flowers. This plaque says something about the flower I just cut. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Okay, so we just cut the rest of the flowers away. There we go, and we'll walk through here. Okay, so now we'll just uh, we'll go over to this sign. Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Ooh. Snake cross. Snakes. Oh no. What possible harm could a snake? <laughs> no. <Ooh>. Ah. <laughs> We've been eaten by the snake. Oh no. Well, this is. <laughs> okay, when you when you're in a snake. Uh, you want to collect everything that's inside the snake. So pick everything up that's in there. <laughs> okay, once you've got everything, go into your inventory. And you want to mix this pancake syrup with the ipecac ipe flour, whatever it's called. Ipecac flour. It makes syrup of ipecac. Yeah. That seems logical. And then we want to feed this to the snake. Oh, oh. <laughs> and we're on. Oh. Okay. That'll be it for today, guys. 
Thank you very much for watching. Part two of part two will be in the next video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Till next time. Toodaloo.